Okay. Hello, you trader nerds. Hope everybody's doing good. Real traders never trade alone. They trade with their fellow nerds. And like Carlos and Chame and Dan and DB and Dwayne and Edwin and Jason and Lee and Matt, Jolly Wally and Mo and Rick and Robert and Sean and Stacy and Stefan and Stephen and Trader Nick and Vicky with an eye and Victor. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Good to have you here. Uh, so the... Uh, Chat GPT is still working on the uh, final results. It says it looks promising of our income trade that I've been working on. So we will see what happens. Uh, but I'm excited about what uh, what what the results are going to be. So we don't know if we're going to do AIM or the nine sig signal or uh, hedge fund DX one adventure or something like that, or what I have fed into the Chat GPT. So. Uh, let's see, chat GPT, let's go to it really quick, like, and let's see, uh, do you think you'll have the results in the next few minutes? I'm trying to speed it up here a little bit. Let's see what it says here. The results are just about finalized. The next few minutes, pull everything together in a clear, decide format, but I'm close to finishing. I'll update you as soon as the report is ready. Thank you again for your patience. So y'all be patient with uh, ChatGPT. Uh, it's running a back test from 2010 to the present. The back test is complete. And now it's just comparing it with AIM and Hedge Money's Excellent Adventure and the 9SIG thing. So it'll be interesting to see. Look at this, y'all. This thing bounced right off of that. Uh, uh, this is a pivot point and how these things work as I have no idea but it's neat the market is down eight points so it's down 0.14 percent and interestingly enough the uh, we're just below the opening 15 minute range we're below VWAP we're above now this uh, pivot point and AD is negative 161 which indicates it should be probably weaker than what it is here and the VIX is in the 15 handle. VIX didn't rise up at all with this little thing going down. So let's look at the uh, Big Green Monster. Big Green Monster, we're just kind of hovering out a little bit above the 50% line. Um, we do have some gaps down here. This may be a short-term uh, place where we'd like to see right on the 50% line, the 57.41. But we are looking as a possible up target of the 59.45 here. So interestingly enough, we are fairly priced. Don't let anyone tell you that we are overbought or oversold. We are fairly priced and the market is doing what the market looks like it should be doing. Let's look at our linear regression. Linear regression shows that uh, we are still within this thing. It does appear that we are having an area of consolidation. Consolidation before it probably uh, could go down, you know, could it looks like we may be consolidating before the next move down. So it'll be interesting to see over the next few days what that thing does. So let's see how our little account is doing as far as our hedges, because I'm thinking that we need to put in more hedges. So let's go over here and let's change this to today, 925. And well, uh, that looks good. What did I uncheck something? Yeah, I unchecked these three. So uh, indeed, you see over time, these hedges become weaker and weaker and weaker. Let's see how our uh, little uh, GTC orders are doing over here. So $2 to $1.55, that's not close. $2 to $1.55. 90 cents to 20 cents, that's not close. So there's really nothing I could do other than probably put on another hedge. Now, the thing is, everybody should know by this point that there's no way that I can sell three and get the hedge up because the, by itself, that's not going to do anything, right? The, the three is not going to do anything. So we need to do something. Now, a couple of things that we could do. We could go ahead and force some of those uh, GTC orders, right? We could go ahead and harvest for uh, 90 cents instead of 20 cents, and we could buy 
five for two dollars instead of a dollar fifty five that we just found on the GTC orders. But I don't necessarily want to do that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a diagonal. So this is a diagonal sweet bobby hedge. So let's look into it this way. And let's go see where we can do this. We want to be over 60 days. And let's see, if we went to 115 days, let's clear this, 115 days. Let's see if we got 50, 50 wide strikes there at the $3. So, oh, right here we've got 100 wide strikes. So let's go down a little bit. 115 days, let's go to 98 days. That probably is the sweet spot. And let's go to about $3. There we go, $3 there. $3.50, we got 3100 so we'll go 3150 And we'll sell three of these. And we'll try to get that 310 which will be sweet, sweet, sweet. So let's do this and see if we can get 310 Let's see. Look at there, it's increasing my buying power by selling three. Isn't that crazy? All right, that worked. Now, so now what you do is you go, okay, we got 97 days. So we want to go down to about 30 days, so about 67 days. So let's go to this 66 days. And we're going to find the ones that we can buy for $1.55. Let's go what we can buy for about $1.55 right there. And 3,200 is higher strike than what we did. So we're going to buy five, two, three, four, five. What was that? Oh, we just got a partial field. So let's buy five of these and we'll try to buy them at $1.50. And that won't let me work. So we didn't get all of those filled. Let's try this for $1.65. Replace $1.55. There, we bought our five. Now what we want to do is we want to go back to that 90-something days, to the 98 days, and we want to put a GTC order in. There's the, there we go. We got three of them now. Good. So we want to go here. And we want to buy these for $1.55. Two, three, four, five. And we want to do $1.55, we said. And we want this to be a GTC. And we want to put a GTC order in to close the three that we did at 20 cents, right? Don't forget that. Uh-oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? So let's do these. We'll close positions. Close the full amount of them. And we'll close these at 20 cents. 0 0.20 Z. And GTC. And review and see them. Now let's see if this gave us a little bit of protection, right? We sold the 3150s, we bought the 3200s, and let's look and see how this does. So we'll go over here. Remember our thing was 7900. So now let's uh, refresh positions and ta-da! We doubled our protection. How about that? Isn't that cool? Double our protection to the downside just by doing a little bit of uh, trickery. We did a little uh, diagonal way, so that's fine. I love that, I love that a lot. So now let's go over here and let's put our trades in. So let's get our little head, here we go, trades. So we did ES and ES. And we'll call this BSH5. Yes, and we did three shorts and five longs, and we'll call this BSH5. Puts, and this is going to be long hedge, and this is going to be puts, 
and short hedge. And this was 97 days, I believe. And today is 925.24. Uh, uh oh, nine twenty-five twenty-four, and let's see what those were. Activity. We want to just look at the field. So we did three ten. So we did three ten. We did ninety-seven days. Three thirty-one fifties at three ten. 3150s at 310. 3150 at 310. Beautiful. And then we did these were the 3200s at 66, 67. Let's see. We did $1.55. We did 65 days, 3200s for $1.55. 65, $1.55. At a dollar fifty-five, and then let's go group those. Not sure why that's not. Why is this not letting me save? It says I don't have enough storage, but it lets me save it like this. Yes, I want to do that. Okay, so let's go and put these in BSH five. So let's show positions, positions, and group by custom. What am I missing, y'all? We said the 97 and the 3200s. This is BSH5. Oh, that's right. Last time it wouldn't let us group them together, would it? Man, that's crazy. Let me hit the control key, see if it will work. No, it won't let me. Let's see, it'll let me do that one. It will let me do those, but it won't let me do them because they're in different ex uh, different uh, expirations. Anyway, that's fine. All right, guys. Thank y'all for joining us. That is it today. So just know that a diagonal can, can uh, uh, you know, quickly uh, double the amount of protection that you have, especially if you get down below 10,000 on your protection. Great job today, y'all. I will see everybody tomorrow. Love you to pieces. Bye, y'all.